Hamlet's distillery had been producing great whiskey, we all knew that. But actually, nobody really understood what happened pre the still. You know, where is it grown? You know, who's growing it? And the more and more we looked at that, we thought, well, actually, this is key. Because actually, from what we could see, is nobody out there really cared. Look around behind me and I think this distillery almost died. This distillery was closed you know, like 12 years ago. There was nothing, there was no casks in these waves. If you look at it now, this is the spirit of the future. Terroir is what's important to us. Actually, where does this stuff come from? I feel quite proud about this one. You know, it's Isla whiskey made by Isla people. The skill of the stillman and the mashman and the farmer, it's all there. It's very close to our hearts because we're making something that's is very unique and it's, as I say, because it's from Isla, it's the same DNA as us, it's, it's very special. The environment plays such a major, major part in all we do at Brookladdy. This is what it's all about. And here you have it. Next stop is Canada. And that marine influence you will find in the whiskey. It's good stuff. The other advantage of growing barley is that the straw that comes from it, the straw bedding, is tremendous for keeping cattle and sheep dry. It's true to say that I've learned a lot more here than I ever did at university. It's powerful stuff, very spiritual stuff, you can feel it. You can't help but be caught up in the enthusiasm. There's been times where we've come up with a recipe and he's been high-fiving me in the tasting room, you know, and, and jumping around and really excited. and. You know, it's as if he scored the winning goal of the cup final sometimes, you know, it's, it's incredible that that passion he has, uh, that you can't help but be won over by it and be enthused by it yourself. You've got to taste everything in this business, you've got to taste, God, you've got to taste the yeast. We don't have gas chromatography, we don't have colorimetric, we don't have any computers whatsoever. So we rely heavily upon the operator. So through the night, as the world is sleeping quietly, our guys are distilling. Sometimes you want to get away to see all the shops and all the lights and whistles. But once you're away, you want to get back even quicker, you know? So that's the character of Isla. It's good. And just over the hill at the distillery, we have 40,000 casks and they, like me, are breathing this air. Since the distillery started, our life has changed completely. We would never have thought 12 years ago we'd be growing barley for a distillery in Isla. We would never have thought we were supplying spring water to the distillery. The water goes all around the world. Anywhere the whiskey goes, the water's with it. Unbelievable for us. Tremendous fun and we're very lucky when we're glad you came on the scene. It's changed our lives completely in a good way. You could travel to the four corners of the earth and you'd never ever get something like this. Whether it's talking to the farmer or looking at the soil or just talking to the cask. It's good to talk to casks, you know. They're just like children and we watch them grow, and we watch them mature, and we watch them change, just like children. And that is probably the most rewarding part. And then when you put it in the bottle, and you think the dreams have been realized. <laughs>